This new 99 rebound center build is absolutely dominating NBA 2K24. If you want to be able to get every rebound, get consistent blocks, overall just an absolute menace on defense, and posterize your defender every single time, this build is for you. Let's aim for 1,000 likes on this video, so make sure that like button is blue and subscribe for more build videos. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I know there's a lot of new people that just got the game. Um, they may be getting it on Christmas, so you guys are looking out for builds, and I got you guys with the best center builds. So far now i'm going to show you guys two different ways you can make this build one is a pure inside center and one is similar to like a popper build uh, that can shoot threes so the first build so today i'm going to show you guys two different ways you can create this build uh the way i made it was a pure inside it has no shooting i'm going to show you guys that first and then the second way you can make this build is going to be able to shoot threes and mid-range shots and it's still overall very good so make sure you guys drop a like and let's get right into it all right so for the position you want to go center the height goes seven foot one let me know down below in the comments section i've made multiple builds like six foot ten six eleven even some seven two builds this year but let me know what you guys think what the sweet spot is for the centered height this year i think seven foot one is perfect i think once you go over seven one you're a little slow um so we, we kept it at seven foot one now the weight go 249 pounds and the wingspan max it out to seven foot eleven all right so let's start off with the physicals which is very important so for the speed go ahead and max that out all the way to 60 uh you're gonna be moving with the 60 speed i promise with the 60 speed you're gonna get silver chase down artists i know it's not showing up right now uh, but you're gonna get silver chase down artists on this build at seven foot one it's pretty solid now for the acceleration lead that at 45 excel is only when you have the ball and you're dribbling so obviously on a seven foot one you're not really going to be doing that too much now for the strength go ahead and put that bad boy all the way up to 90 yes go ahead and max it out at 90 now as you guys can see at 90 strength you get gold brick wall and you get gold immovable enforcer before we continue let me tell you about the sponsor in today's video underdog fantasy the best way to play fantasy sports and one of my favorite things about underdog is the pick them game you can literally pick any player that you want or if you want to you can even choose your favorite nba players all you have to do is pick higher or lower on those player stats and you can win up to 20 times your money in one single night and to build a pick them entry all you have to do is pick two to five players and if you get every pick right you can win some good money so here are my picks for tonight's game so my first pick i'm gonna go with luca going lower than 31 and a half points and for my second option i'm going with anthony davis going higher than 12 and a half rebounds and hopefully i get these picks right because i'm gonna make some good money if i do there's also a new customer special on underdog fantasy lamar jackson has to get higher than only half a total yard you can literally win free money you already know lamar jackson is going to get higher than half a yard underdog is available to many states in the united states so make sure you guys check out this map right here to make sure that you are eligible so make sure you sign up on underdogfantasy.com or via the app store using promo code call the man or you guys can click the first link in the description and underdog is going to double your first deposit up to a hundred dollars and that's underdog fantasy promo code call the man and it's not popping up right now because the other attributes aren't filled up but you're also going to get hall of fame box out beast on this build so it's going to be crazy it's going to be very dominant no one's going to be bullying you you're going to be the bully on this build you're going to be able to get consistent stops on offense and defense all right so for the vertical go ahead and put that all the way up to 75 now the reason we go with 75 vert overall is just it's good it's good for rebounding you're gonna be able to jump high snag those rebounds at 75 vert you're gonna unlock gold pogo stick so it's gonna be very good on defense so make sure you go 75 vert and for the stamina go ahead and put that all the way up to a 96 all right now let's go over the finishing now for the close shot go ahead and put that all the way up to a 61 there's no real reason why we go with a 61 it just naturally gets there with the other attributes that we fill up so for the driving layup you're not going to want to put that up too high only at a 53 okay this build you're not gonna be laying the ball up okay we're not laying the ball up we're gonna be slamming it down okay with precision okay now the driving dunk go ahead and put that all the way up to a 73 now as you guys can see at 73 we get that bronze posterizer now with bronze posterizer it's gonna be very overpowered combined with precision dunker now i'm gonna show you guys what we get that on in a second but for right now we're going with a 73 driving dunk so we can get that bronze posterizer and we also get the dwight howard dunk animations at a 73 dunk so um overall you know with 73 driving dunk you're gonna be fine now for the standing dunk this is probably my second favorite attribute about this build we're gonna go ahead and put that all the way up to a 96 now as you guys can see at a 96 standing dunk we unlock hall of fame precision dunker precision dunker says it improves a player's ability to make skill dunks now if you guys are new to the game you just got the game skill dunks are basically meter dunks 
okay? So when you do a meter dunk, it's you have to time it. You have to time it in the green window. And with Hall of Fame Precision Dunker, a 96 driving dunk and posterizer, if you time it right and you're in the great position, you're gonna get a contact dunk every single time. And all the comp players know that Hall of Fame Precision Dunker, even gold, it's very good and very effective in this game. And look at the other badges we get as well. We get gold fast twitch, we get gold rise up, and we get gold aerial wizard. So, I mean, look at these four badges we're looking at right now. All those stacked on top of each other is just a recipe for just being overpowered on this game in the paint. Now for the post control, we're gonna leave that at a 31. And I know you guys are gonna say, oh my God, a 31 post control. Well, this is mainly a 5v5 build and you know, the only time I get the ball when I want the ball is in the paint to dunk it, okay? Off the pick and roll. I don't really work in the post and the fives. So this is just the way I play. This is my build. But overall, this build when it comes to finishing is an absolute menace, man. Me and my boy Breeze, whenever he's running point guard, I'll set the screen, go down in the paint, wait for the ball, you know what I mean? And you can get precision dunker to activate just about every single time. If you're in really good position, like right underneath the rim, Hall of Fame precision dunker is literally a cheat code. Like, I don't even know how it's allowed in this game okay it's actually crazy now the thing is you have to be in good position and if you figure out how to get that just about every single time it's going to be insane you know i mean you can get an offensive rebound and go right back up with it using precision dunker and you are most likely going to get a contact animation and if you don't it don't matter because you just greened it and it's going to be a great dunk animation including badges like fast twitch and rise up you know what i mean like i said if you get the offensive rebound this build does get a 99 offensive rebound you guys are going to see in a second but once you get that rebound Bound, and you have badges like Hall of Fame Precision Dunker and Gold Rise Up and Fast Twitch, bro, you are going to be an absolute beast like you guys are seeing in these clips right now. Like I said, this build is a pure inside and pure defensive build. It cannot shoot, but don't worry if you're looking for a big man build that can shoot. I'm going to show you guys the next build. But right now, we're gonna be rocking with a 45 mid-range, and you can low-key still hit with that, but we're going with a 45 mid-range, and the three ball is naturally just gonna be at a 30. Now, for your free throw, put that all the way up to 70. You could technically put it up to 71 and get free points, but with a 70 free throw, you're gonna be able to knock down those free throws at a high rate. All right, one of my favorite attributes about this build is the pass accuracy. I know, it's a big man, right? But we're gonna put that thing all the way up to a 92. Ladies and gentlemen, Look at the badges we get. Now, the, the main reason why we go with a 92 pass accuracy is so we get that Hall of Fame break starter, okay? Look at the other badges we get as well. We get gold dimer, we get gold needle threader, we get a uh, gold relay passer, Hall of Fame special delivery, touch passer on gold. I mean, look, you are gonna be dominant. I mean, I think this build is pretty similar to a Jokic build that just can't shoot basically. But I mean, dude, you're gonna be an absolute beast with a 92 pass accuracy. With pass accuracy being at a 92, your ball handle is naturally going to be a 57. So, I mean, you can low-key dribble a little bit on this build. I wouldn't recommend doing it because you're going to get ripped. But if you're up by like 50 in the rec or park and uh, you still want to mess around, you have a 57 ball handle. So do what you want with that. Speed with ball, lead that at a 27. But for the playmaking on this build, you are gonna be an absolute beast with this. Like when you get the defensive rebound and you wanna dot your man that's cherry picking, you literally just dot them and your player's gonna throw it like Tom Brady. He's just gonna throw it down the court and it's an absolute dot every single time. Look at the clips I'm showing you guys. I'm literally getting the rebound and I'm throwing it to my point guard on the other side of the court. I'm telling you, bro. If you are a center and you're not going with a high pass accuracy, you're messing up your build already if you play fives and you play threes i highly recommend a 92 pass accuracy because the hall of fame break starter badge is literally a cheat code it's literally unfair you get the rebound and not only can you dot the player down the court but your teammate's going to catch the ball at a very consistent rate good catch animations for him to shoot open shots and you really got to think about it it's not just break starter that's doing that you get gold dimer so when you throw it down the court to your teammate gold dimer is going to be activated as well you're going to get needle threader activated all those good badges that's going to be benefit your teammate so far with this build you're going to be a beast in the paint and you're going to be able to throw these dots all right so moving on to defense so for the interior defense rating okay some of you guys may disagree with me but i played so much wreck and just uh, just so much 2k that i can tell what's effective and what's not so for the interior defense we're going to 74 i don't think you really need much higher than that and at 74 you're going to get bronze post move lockdown and we're also going to get anchor in a second on silver you guys are going to see now for the perimeter defensive rating, go ahead and put that all the way up to a 58. Now at 58, as you guys can see, we get that bronze off ball pest. Now normally, you know, I play zones, so I'm never really gonna be 
guarding the three-point line in the corner or the top of the key so but with a 58 perimeter defense if we need to rotate in the zone still going to be able to put a hand up and contest the guard all right so ladies and gentlemen the still rating we're going to put that all the way up to a 60 and as you guys can see we get that bronze interceptor now i'm gonna keep it real with y'all the bronze interceptor badge really isn't that effective okay um the reason i just went with that is because off the pick and roll on defense you're gonna be able to get some stops in the lanes uh with bronze interceptor obviously silver is better uh, but we're not gonna be able to unlock that on this build so for the block rating we're gonna put that all the way up to an 87 as you guys can see we get that silver anchor now i've done a lot of research i've watched a lot of comp pro am teams and most of the bigs don't even use gold anchor i think it's not even worth it i mean i think if you're gonna go higher than silver you might as well go hall of fame but to be honest i think silver anchor is very effective in this game so that's why we're rocking with an 87 block now this is my favorite attribute about this build is the offensive rebound rating now we're gonna put that all the way up to a 99 ladies and gentlemen and look at the badges we get right here man we get hall of fame box out beast we get gold pogo stick and the best thing about the 99 offensive rebound rating is hall of fame rebound chaser that badge is one of the best badges for any big man in this game if you want to be able to dominate and get the rebound every single time i'm telling you man hall of fame rebound chaser is worth it totally worth it okay now for the defensive rebound rating we're rocking with an 84 okay i know a lot of you guys are gonna like why why won't you go with a higher um defensive rebound rating i'm telling you bro it doesn't matter if you have a 99 offensive rebound you gotta look at the badges that come with it so yeah on defense we have an 84 rebound but it doesn't matter because we get the badges from the offensive rebound rating we get hall of fame box out b still we get rebound chaser on hall of fame we get all these badges so that's really what matters the defensive rebound rating it's still an 84 it's still very effective but like i said man with a 99 offensive rebound we get the badges that come with it so it's going to help the defensive rebound rating out a lot but overall, on defense, this build is an absolute beast. I mean, I'm telling you, bro, with a 74 interior, you're still going to be able to get a lot of stops. If people come in your paint and they try to test you, you can get snatch blocks. I've gotten a lot of snatch blocks on this build with that 87 block and that 74 interior defense. But with an 87 block rating, it really doesn't matter about the interior. You're going to be able to get a lot of stops in the paint. But like I was mentioning about the rebounds, I'm telling you, bro, this build is an absolute beast on the offensive and defensive side for the rebound ratings. I can't can't tell you how many times my teammates have just kept bricking and i just worm around the defensive player and click triangle and my guy literally jumps so high to snag the rebound it's so op that's why i say the 99 offensive rebound rating is 100 percent worth it because you get animations that are so insane that other you know big man players won't get because they don't have a 99 offensive rebound so you are going to be able to snag at a consistent rate and like i said just because you have an 84 defensive rebound it doesn't matter on defense i snag because i have the badges from the offensive rebound rating that 99 rebound is nuts so on defense you still get those hall of fame badges and you're going to be able to worm that defender you're going to be able to get around and get that rebound over any big man just showing you guys once again i do get silver chase down artist so on defense you're gonna be able to get a lot of stops and proof we do get pogo stick on gold like i mentioned earlier in the video and you get silver workhorse as well but this is the version that i made and i have so much fun with but now i'm gonna show you guys the version that can actually shoot so let's get right into it all right so for the speed go ahead and max it out at a 60 for the acceleration leave that at a 45 for the strength put that all the way up to a 90 just like my original build that i showed you guys you want that gold brick wall and you want that gold immovable enforcer now for your vertical this one you're gonna go ahead and max it out at a 79 now for the stamina go ahead and put that all the way up to a 97 for the close shot put Put that all the way up to a 60 no real reason no you don't get any certain badges but that's just where the attributes were left over now for the driving layup leave that at a 53 like the last build the driving dunk just like the last build put that at a 73 so you get that bronze posterizer and you also get the white howard dunk animations now for the standing dunk we're not going with a 96 on this build we're gonna be rocking with a 92 now with a 92 we don't get hall of fame precision dunker but we still get it on gold okay so you got to make sacrifices this year and we're gonna be rocking with a 92 standing dunk so you get that gold posterizer. So we're gonna be rocking with a 92 standing dunk and we're gonna go with gold precision dunker instead of hall of fame on this one. Mid-range shot, put that all the way up to a 76. Now the reason we're going with a 76 mid-range is to get the green machine on silver. Now for your three point shot, put that all the way up to a 74. And as you guys can see, we get some pretty good bronze and silver badges. We get catch and shoot on silver, claymore on silver, corner specialist, dead eye on bronze. All these badges are gonna be very useful and I'm telling you, Bro, if you know how to shoot the ball, 
you can easily shoot with a 74 three ball i'm telling you bro it's 100 worth it you're gonna be able to green especially if your teammates have a lot of playmaking badges like dimer touch passer and whatnot free throw go ahead and put that all the way up to a 70 knock down those free throws just like the last build put your pass accuracy all the way up to a 92 so you get that hall of fame break starter 57 ball handle 28 speed with ball and your interior defense needs to go all the way up to an 82 now we're rocking with an 82 on this build just because we have some leftover attributes we get that gold workhorse and we also get silver post lockdown perimeter put that all the way up to a 58 and for the steel rating put that all the way up to a 60 for that bronze interceptor badge the block just like the last build put that all the way up to an 87 you get that silver anchor and we also are sitting at silver pogo stick at the moment all right so for the offensive rebound we're gonna go with a 93 okay now with a 93 we still get hall of fame box out beast but we're gonna be rocking with gold rebound chaser like i said man you can't get hall of fame rebound chaser on this build you cannot make an absolute demigod build this year um but overall this build is very good it can dunk at a consistent rate it can shoot threes mid-range shots it can dot down the court and it can also get rebounds and get consistent stops as a center and for the defensive rebound just go ahead and put that all the way up to an 89 those were the left ever attributes i had on this build but this build may be a better version for you let me know down below in the comment section which build did you like more the first one that i showed you guys that's a pure inside or do you guys like the second build where the rebounding isn't as overpowered but you're gonna be able to shoot let me know down below in the comment section which build do you think is the best but if this video is helpful make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe for more build videos and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one man i'm out peace